that's where all this YouTube started. A year ago in Switzerland. And how did I end up there? Why did I go there? I mean, why would you just leave everything and just move there? I mean, who does that? Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. So I'm comfortably sitting here waiting to tell you the story of my life and how I ended up where I ended up. A lot of you have been asking for it and here it is. I'm gonna give it to you all right. It's a lot of movement. Are you ready for it? Don't get seasick on me. Oh. Guys, if it starts raining, we might change scenery because you see this hair? This hair gets frizzy when it rains and we don't want that frizziness going on right now, now do we? Okay, let's rewind and let me tell you how I ended up in Switzerland and why I ended up in Switzerland. Let me start you from the beginning. I was born in Boston. I moved to New York when I was 5. Then I moved to Switzerland when I was 10. Then I moved back to LA when I was 25. Well, not back. I mean, I moved to LA when I was 25. And then... Suddenly I got this opportunity after all these years to go back to Europe for two years. I mean, who's not going to take it? I mean, come on. So yeah, I did dump everything and I left. I quit my job on a limb. I, I just got up and left. I had this great opportunity. I might have fell in love. Who knows? Eh, it happens to the best of us. The heart went boom, boom, boom for another heart that went boom, boom, boom. And we both boom, boom, boomed. And so I lived there, boom, boom, booming for two years. Did I work over there? No, because I was illegal, so I couldn't work. Did I get married over there? No, but I had a wonderful experience, whether it was spending more time with family, getting to see my friends that I kept in touch with by Facebook. Actually, that's a good trick I'm gonna give you guys. Wait, I'm gonna put this on because I'm gonna frizz. Oh, sorry, I can't see you guys. Oh, sorry, okay. Staying in touch with people on Facebook helps you reconnect with people when you go to another country that you were in with before. So I reconnected with all my friends and I was there with family, with friends, revisiting all these places I knew as a kid but not as an adult moving there with no school and all that. I could visit anywhere I wanted to visit and I took full advantage of these two years in Switzerland. Was the boom 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 hard enough for me to stay there? No, but it's okay. It was a wonderful experience and family was out of this world. To reconnect with family members that I hadn't seen for all these years was amazing. Getting this experience of living in LA and Switzerland as a child and as an adult and being able to do this comparison was mind-blowing. I mean, I learned a lot, I experienced a lot and I grew a lot out of it. I learned different things at different times of my life and how people enter your life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. I went to a different country, and that different country led me to taking care of someone that was very dear to me. There was an event that was there, a very private event, a family member that needed a little bit of attention and love, and I was there for them at that time and that moment. I think there's always a reason that things happen to you in life and why you do things and how you do them. And this was one of them. And look, I even started YouTube over there. Maybe if I stayed in LA, I would have never started YouTube because I was working so hard. Now I'm back in LA and I loved every moment of it. Would I live in Europe? No, I would not live in Europe constantly. I am really happy I came back. And the main reason is that my family is here. And that was very hard for me to live away from my family. Now, the reason that I wasn't legal in Switzerland was because when I was 18 and I used to, and I grew up there, I didn't do my citizenship. So in Europe, if you don't do your citizenship, even if you went to school there, even if family members are Swiss, you cannot work there. You are illegal if you are not Swiss. So what happened was is that me going there at that age, at the age of 44, 42, sorry, I was not legal. So I could not get the citizenship that easily. I would have had to get married to be able to be legal and stay there and to work, and that did not happen. And being far from family was not the best thing for me. Living in the country of Switzerland was also not the best thing for me because of the fact that I'm very open-minded and very happy and outgoing. And I didn't feel that it was a place for me to do my life over there. I think I like the activeness of LA and I like the the, the 
speed living, as I call it, in LA. So this was a little bit of my overview of living in Switzerland versus living in LA. They're both wonderful places to live, but my heart was in LA the whole time. I have no regrets of going to Switzerland. I have no regrets of leaving everything and just getting up and going. I think any experience that comes to you in life, you should take it open-heartedly and go through with it with a positive attitude. I'm very happy to be back. I'm re-enjoying my family and I'm filming. So I'm gonna focus on that till I find a full-time job and I start working and filming because I can do both. Hello, I'm multifunctional here. It was nice telling you my story. I hope I answered all your questions and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Stay positive. Bye.